Retard your quarters. The whole solar thing is weird. I'm missing something. Am I imagining it? Or do we have a moment to breathe? We have a moment. <sighs> I think you're right. You brought us here. You are proof that the Inquisition made a difference. That we will continue to do so. Our soldiers put their trust in you, Cullen. I appreciate everything you've done. I should be thanking you. You gave me a chance to... to prove myself. In your place, I'm not sure I would have done the same. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. As much as I might want it for myself. All this pomp and ceremony. Can't top seeing that bastard Corypheus burn. No matter what happens to me now, I can say I was there. I helped you bring him down. And live to tell the tale. So now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? Someone has to fix things. Might as well be me. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. to help kick the shit out of him. <laughs> Good times, boss. Good times. There's no one I would have rather had at my side, Bo. Same here. I got to kill another dragon and fight a fint. Those poor bastards on the ground had demons. The Ben Hasrath are still worried about the Inquisition's power. Happy Corypheus is dead, though. I expect they'll call me back for a more detailed report. Not many experts on demons and old magisters under the queue. The Inquisition owes you a great deal. Hey, you paid me a great deal. And we're not done yet. Corypheus was a busy guy. I figure we've still got some cleanup work to do. But not tonight. Tonight, we get shit-faced one last time. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. So many people to talk to. Starting to think about putting all this into a book. I'm thinking this shit is real. Inquisitor's Rebellion story. What do you think? It's a working title. Maybe you should keep working. I'll leave the title for last. Naming things is always the worst. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. You should write the book. I'll see what I can do once I get home. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. Curly needs to win back some of his dignity. Oh, was a good cutscene. Anyone else here? Cool. So many people died. More still are hurting. They need help. It seems wrong to celebrate. But I want to. The part of me that's me needs to after all this. The servants are drinking. Some of them are drinking while lying down. Do you have any interest in joining them? I don't know. Not now. It makes things more complicated. And I'm not ready. Someday. Maybe. What happens next? Where do we go? The Inquisition is just getting started. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andras Day's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for, you know, everything ever again. I mean, is this for us or for her? 
Or, you know, him. Because mm. I was there, and I still don't know what's real. Couldn't it be his will and our effort? Perhaps miracles need a little help. Well, what's the friggin' point of them then? Ugh. <laughs> I guess you'd know by this point. It seems like you did it right, mostly. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Royale. That's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? Or whatever? Sure. I could use the company. Because this doesn't seem like it'll end. Oh, poor leader of everything. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raisin for winning! Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. Admit it, you're having a ball. <laughs> I don't trust camaraderie, all these people smiling, buying me drinks. It's unnatural. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. <laughs> Father hears he will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. I appreciate everything you've done for us. So you should. Being appreciated is a nice change of pace, though. I'm also pleased to come out of it alive. I wasn't expecting that. You thought you'd die. Didn't you? The hero dies in all the best stories. Anything else just sounds so implausible. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition, for now. You will? Devinter lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. <laughs> Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry, nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. The drinks are fine. It's been a wonderful evening. I hope you're not just saying that. Not, are you? Good. Assassins, it's late, the invitation to our guest barely went out at all, and... and it's so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Vedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. You played no small part in our rise to power. <laughs> you had a role yourself, if I recall correctly. Truly, we will never. There are guards on all the gates. Tonight, Except for yours, I'm guessing. All the doors. <laughs> Moment. Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the petit four. I love tiny cakes, and there are so many. Which one first? Combination, but it's quite popular in Val Royale. I believe they call it the exquisite misery. Ole, why did we save her again? To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. All right, this should be nope, not the last. Get damn it! Defy the Chantry, build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. We haven't had closer about them and their divine thing. I wasn't sure we'd make it either. A rather bizarre thing. As if we've stumbled blindly into a forbidden future. Better than the future we saw at Redcliffe. Much better. I intend to rebuild the Seekers of Truth. To make us the order we were meant to be. That will take time. Meanwhile, I remain free to serve the Inquisition, if you require me. It's odd, isn't it? 
I was almost certain the Maker was playing some cosmic joke on me, on us all. Yet you were exactly what we needed. No matter what comes next, I will remember that. Alright, last we begin. So much to do, my dear. Last endless. Ah. The Empress requires my expertise during what is sure to be a difficult transition. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. As a matter of fact, I am. And well you should. It's a miracle we survived this ordeal. Go mingle. The night is still young. Alright. Let's save and go to our quarters. This seems weird to me. You managed to slip away. I thought I might claim more of your attention after all. Is there something on your mind? Everything. The battle's over. There will be a new divine. Yet I don't care about anything other than you being alive. Cullen. I don't know what happens after this. Neither do I. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against Chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, the elven resistance pacified, but it is said Gaspar yet plots his return from exile. How long before the Empress missteps and he raises banners once more? This fear hounds her every move. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Some claim she clings too tightly to the Alliance. Others know it is all that stands between her and defeat. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the Shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Cool. Found that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages Not cool. between them. What becomes of Hawk is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. You'll see. Silence indicate a battle within, or something far worse. One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Leliana as successor. Hey, Leliana. Given the name Divine Victoria, she first declares an end to the Circle of Magi. The Mages will now govern themselves. She opens the priesthood to other races, declares support for the Inquisition, and rededicates the Chantry to the principle of charity. Divine Victoria is controversial from the start. Several new sects arise resisting her reforms and declaring her rule a threat to the faith. Her response is as swift as it is deadly. Unity is maintained, but blood runs through the halls of the Grand Cathedral. Mm. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. When Leliana disbands the circles, they leave the Inquisition and reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. 
The college, they say, will allow mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. For the moment, it appears to be working. Mages are enjoying unprecedented acceptance throughout Thedas. Was for wrong, probably. I wonder if we had any hand in uh, Liana's ascension. I don't remember actually. What of the Inquisition itself? Its military might has grown, now rivaling that of kingdoms. Fear of the Inquisition's army has become the true source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, she has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready. All right then, that ends the Great Inquisition. The ending was kind of weak. Also, I have no idea what the hell happened with Solas. I need to look it up because I apparently missed something. All right, final thoughts. Uh, far better game than the second one. The combat was rather too oversimplified and too easy. I really did like the art and the various areas. Both in architecture and in uh, clothes. The music was good. The story was mediocre. The characters, the side characters, companions feel like, were also kinda meh. Nothing like uh, Mordin, for example. Still, it was a quite an enjoyable game. Although in the end it got really tiresome with the MMO's quests, and I basically skipped the whole area because couldn't be bothered with that anymore. Still, definitely recommend it. It was a huge game as well. So I will be doing some multiplayer next. I'm not sure. Maybe a thief. I haven't looked how it works actually. Probably not for a long time. I will see how good it is. Anyway, thank you for watching this huge series. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. And I will see you in the next series. I figured there would be a, a scene afterwards. <laughs>